Hi, my name is Nico. I'm the COO of Vgram. Today, I want to tell you how Vgram support building information modeling in planning and on construction sites. In Germany and many other countries is BIM an enabler for digital transformation, especially in the infrastructure. So, why it is so? On site, we have 20% of deviation for as planned to as built and 10% needs to be reworked. The problem is that the site manager in most of the time doesn't know all the problems. The reason is, ideally, there is 100% complete documentation. We are thinking that you can't have a real BIM project without a 3D as built documentation. With BIM you plan the whole construction site digital. Then you have to bring the geometry into the real world. After that the important information needs to be back in the digital as built model. So therefore, you feel what the challenge is? Yes, it needs a flavorless and continuous documentation, especially on huge infrastructure projects. But it is not possible to have a professional surveyor with the high-tech equipment on each side all the time or just in time. So, normally they work in teams out of two to three people on different sides each day. The problem can be solved by different workers which are on the same side each day. They only need an easy tool for that. We call this tool VDoc. And the VDoc takes smart documentation. The VDoc is a multi measurement tool for applications in structure for motion GIS and GNSS with a one centimeter accuracy. Therefore, we use different measurement tools like a camera in your smartphone or provided LiDAR sensors, a front laser for GIS solutions and a bottom laser like a GNSS rover. VDoc is a hardware add-on for your iPhone or iPad. Absolutely easy to use and ready in a few seconds. It can be used by everyone at every time and everywhere. This is the leading team behind the scenes. Sidon and me two years ago. We start with our first ideas to solve the problems with the as-built documentation on construction sites. One year ago, we met the team of Pix4D by Florian Amrita and Christoph. Within a few days, it was clear that Pix4D want to have this product for all their customers all over the world. That started the race for us to redesign the product, getting an SDK and bring the single production to a mass production. For us, the VDoc is our enabler. The question is, for what? To open our device for using with different applications like Pix4D Catch or to work with other global players like RIB i2. Christoph said, this is the game changer in construction documentation. 
In the next few years, the PIX4D users takes processing 100 times more than yet. And now we will see the VDOC at work. Here the VDOC at the Ministry of Ta Traffic and Digitization in Germany. More than five VDOCs on six different construction sites are running in the first year. Let's have a look on different use cases with the Catch app and the VGRAM side app. And here we see another use case on the same side. So we are using the Pix4D Cloud to check the as-planned to the as-built models. Another customer and the global player, Max Bögel. They are using the VDOC2. They use it in combination with the VGRAM side and the PIX4D catch app to get the best results ever. It is fast and it is for high accurate plannings. Let's see.
Yes, the VDOC is real. And the best news in a few weeks available in the whole world. Thank you for being here and looking for smart documentation. Hi again, everyone. I'm Eloise and I've got with me Nico here and we're going to be answering some questions on a live Q&A. Just before we get started, I want to actually show you the VGram because I have one here with me. First, it comes in a lovely big box that helps keep it safe. And then we've actually got the device itself here, which is, as you can see, very small and very portable. So to start off with questions, um, Nico, how about who are your customers and potential users for the VGram? Yeah, so this uh, is uh, completely different. So um, in Germany, so uh, as we stay here, uh, we had some some different uh, customer groups, uh, mainly on construction side. So uh, but, uh, most of our uh, customers are uh, really the surveyors, and uh, this is for us really cool. So we had. Uh, not only a documentation uh, tool uh, developed, so we also had a, a cool uh, surveying tool. Yeah, that's great. And so, as you can see from the device here, it's got a much smaller antenna. How is it, so then the bigger question becomes how is the Vidoc different from traditional surveying methods? Yeah, um, so uh, normally the, the global market of uh, traditional survey tools uh, in the GNSS uh, market is really big and uh, also really tough at the moment. Um, we have the global players which uh, provide uh, accuracies uh, down to, to uh, yeah, three, four millimeters. Um, so this is not what we provide at the moment, uh, but uh, I mean that we are not, not that much uh, better. So uh, we provide one centimeter, so 10 millimeters uh, in horizontal and vertical. Uh, with uh, one ppm, so this is the, the correct uh, wording here. And uh, this is uh, also cool and uh, also for this pricing, I mean. Yeah, you get a lot out of it. So we've got a couple of questions coming in. Uh, how about, the, what's the scope of the VGram application? Yeah, the, the, the scope of the VGram application is um, really also also really a, a big. So we, we see we had a, um, a multi-measurement tool uh, which uh, we have developed. So it is uh, really flexible. It can be used with your uh, smartphones or iPhones uh, right now. And we use uh, technologies inside the smartphone and also uh, different uh, um, functionalities in our VDOC, uh, like uh, LiDAR sensors we have uh, integrated for single point measurements in front and back, and uh, uh, therefore we use also the, the complete uh, camera solutions and also the, the LiDAR in the phones directly, so like Pix3D Catch provides this too. And we have a really cool combination out of uh, real-time um, correction data services and uh, the LiDAR sensors in addition to traditional photogrammetry. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Uh, we've got a question from Luis Ascanio who's asking, can it be used with a regular iPhone without the LiDAR? Yeah, sure. So we provide um, as uh, the XR, so uh, XR and newer. Uh, it will be uh, really working fine. Um, the differences between uh, LiDAR sensor um, phones and, and not with uh, LiDAR is uh, only the processing time. So in the background of the VGRAM side app, uh, it is also working with uh, Pix3D uh, Cloud. And therefore, we had a little bit longer uh, processing times uh, as you use a, a phone with a LiDAR. Awesome. I've got a question for you as well from Bernard Hofferer, um, asking, is site measuring a, in a, inside a tunnel not possible at the moment? Yeah, um, inside a tunnel, so it, it is uh, not possible, is not, not correct. So uh, it's it, uh, getting some, some more problems and it is not that easy uh, um, if you are outside or so, but um, we have some some uh, optimizations in our uh, algorithms um, to um, work in with the GNSS and the lidar and AR kit, so uh, uh, in which which the lidar sensor is integrated um, together, and uh, this makes it possible that you also can. Um, make measurements and 3D models uh, with bad or with less um, GNSS communication. Um, but I think we should look on this uh, problem a little bit more in detail to, to uh, find the, the best solution, but it is possible. 
Mm -hmm. I've had a question from Thibaut Vari about shouldn't you use a poll to position Vidoc accurately above the GCP before making a video? Yeah, it makes sense. So um, if you have uh, GCPs and you can uh, measure this uh, over a longer time, um, you get uh, higher accuracy so for, the, for the whole model. Um, and um, if you are working only um, with the RTK in, in video or photo functions, um, you, you don't uh, can merge some, some uh, different uh, data sets. And this is why it could be a little bit more better, but uh, it, it must not be. So um, if you have a, a clear sky uh, over you, uh, you can also make uh, really accurate uh, 3D models uh, with the absolute uh, accuracy down to five centimeters. This is what, what we provide and, and what is possible uh, if the conditions are, are uh, okay or correct for GNSS technology. All right, that's great. So we're kind of running out of time now on our Q&A at the moment, but we will be able to answer more questions for you on the SpotMe platform live. Thank you very much, Nico. Our next talk coming up is by Amrisa, talking about Pixfury Catch, the professional 3D scanner that is powered by photogrammetry. We'll see you in a few minutes.